well, do we have a treat for you. We have a new cookbook and the author right here. We're with Christina Cavallero, Edict. And Christina, you've written this great new book, From Vine to Table. So what is the subject? The subject is zucchini. And we've always had zucchini in the kitchen. I love cooking with it, and it's one of my favorite vegetables. Uh, so we're Italian sisters here. Yes, apparently. that's right. <laughs> and so this really, this has from um, starters to breakfast, all kinds of recipes, all the way to dessert. So really, it's a comprehensive cookbook book all about zucchini. That's right. Yes, it is. And so what is the recipe that we're going to be doing today? Today we are going to be cooking pasta Mary's caponata. And so it's a combination of uh, my heritage from Bari. And in Bari we do a lot of fish and we do, of course, a lot of pasta. And also half of my heritage is from Sicily. And so Sicily is famous for their caponata and it uses a lot of zucchini as well. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And the first step is we're going to be warming up some olive oil and we're going to be putting in... Um, so it just looks like some red peppers, fresh red pepper? Fresh red pepper. Lovely. And what else do you some mean? onions. Mm -hmm. And then I was hoping that you could help me okay. cut up some zucchini because All we'll right. put that in with these and saute them. All right. And you know, I think that we all have the zucchini and we know our favorite recipes, but you've really gone farther than that in this cookbook. Yeah, well this, this recipe actually has a story behind it. Okay. Um, when we were visiting my aunt and uncle for the very first time, about 20 years ago, uh, we got our signals mixed up. They thought we were coming about a week later. Oh. So my aunt had already cleaned her kitchen from lunch and we show up hungry <laughs> and so she puts her kitchen back together and throws this recipe together and I just wanted to recreate it. I thought it would be great and it, it brings back our memories of when we visited where my grandfather was born. So just in the spur of the moment she had all this in her kitchen. This is, yes, exactly. So these are ingredients that are um, pretty well in any Italian kitchen, the zucchini, the onions, the peppers, um, the capers, uh, and uh, pine nuts and raisins. Uh, these are things that I think are staples pretty much in at least my family's you know, kitchen. And really a summer kitchen, you would have a lot of this in there. That's right, yes, thank there's you. There's capers. Here's some capers we're gonna add. And raisins, that's kind of nice. So there's like a sweet and tart, savory kind of element. Exactly, yeah. And that's part of the caponata part. Yeah, it, to add the raisins to it. Okay. Thank you. And then we're going to add the pine nuts and get those um, a little browned. Okay. And really, it's so nice you could do it on the stove top and on a hot day, you don't have to get the oven going. Exactly, exactly. And I forgot to mention, we are at Standard TV and Appliances, and they have the most beautiful kitchens here. I would love to have this in my home. Oh, I would too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a great Gen Air six burner, so we're only using one, but really you can have something else going on another burner at the same time. Absolutely, yes. And I like the different sizes as well. That is nice. Mm -hmm. So about how long do you need to um, saute that? We're going to saute this for about five minutes and let, let the vegetables soften a little bit, mostly the zucchini, because the uh, onions will soften fairly quickly. So we'll, we'll do that and then um, we'll be adding the pasta and we'll be adding the secret ingredient which is sardines. Now ah. I, I know not everybody likes sardines but because my family's from Bari it's a sea village and they always do everything with fish and so the sardines add just a little bit of zing to it. Oh great. So Well we're going to take care of that and we'll be back in just a few minutes. So Christine, it's only been a few minutes, so what did we do while we were gone from the... We added the sardines ah. and we added the cooked pasta. Excellent. And the sardines really gives it that cool flavor. I mean, it's just an interesting flavor in it, isn't it? It does. It gives it that little secret ingredient, a little bit of zing. Ah. Okay, and so then what do we do now? What we're going to do is we're going to just pour this into our pasta dish okay and we're going to give it a little bit of garnish and we're ready to go and what do you have here you have some fresh herbs from your garden i do i have some fresh flat parsley italian parsley okay. i have a little bit of oregano and i also have some basil all right and some parmesan cheese of course <laughs> all right so we're going to lay that on there pretty presentation what a beautiful bowl and here's the parmesan cheese okay and that's always such a wonderful addition too it is 
And so where can we get this lovely book? Because there are so many incredible recipes in here. Thank you. Well, we can get it on my website. All right. Uh, Amazon carries it, as well as locally Bauman's carries it. So. All right. And then you have a blog, and it's on travel and food, isn't it? It is. It's christinasfoodandtravel.com. Uh -huh. And uh, we talk about our trips to Italy and a lot of the recipes that I make. Uh, well, you know, this smells really good. I wish you could taste it, too. We're going to taste it right off camera. So if you're interested in this wonderful book, please go to Garden Time. We'll click you over to Christina's blog and her website, and you can get one for your own cookbook recipes today. Thanks so much. Thank you.